brought to you by Express Care Health and Skin Center. Get in, get out, get better. All right, everybody, hop a day and welcome back to Healthy Living Tuesday. We are talking about a topic tonight right here that affects all of us. We are talking about puberty. <laughs> and, you know, I say that jokingly, but fortunately, Dr. Yitkalan and myself, we made it through that. And, you know, we uh, did. Yeah, um, hopefully you, be you better than I. <laughs> and that, that's kind of the point I want to start with, Dr. Lam, is um, differentiate, if you can, the differences between when young boys go through puberty and girls, not just in terms of age, but also psychologically. Because I know when I went to school, there were a lot of boys who like couldn't wait to go through puberty as if it were like a rite of passage into mm. manhood. Whereas girls, it was much, a much more traumatic emotional experience. No, oh. well, you know, it's never fun for anybody as as their body changes, their brain changes, and so on. But it's um, something that is natural and normal. So for girls, um, they can start as the average age for girls these days is actually 11. Uh, which, you know, is interesting because it used to be about 15 and yeah. about 100 years ago and now it's down to about 11 and that's because of our diet being extremely um, nourishing, okay, and there's a lot more fat around, um, a lot more hormones around also in our milk and all that. But anyway, so for girls it starts average around 11 and for boys a couple of years later, 13 to 14, yeah, 13 really for boys, yeah. And um, so the changes that occur for for uh, both sexes, first for girls, we start with um, developing small breast buds. Um, they can be a little bit painful, a little uncomfortable for girls, and they may be worried about them. So reassurance is really important for them. And then uh, they begin developing some hair in the underarms and their pubic area, and uh, developing some changes in their body shape, a little bit more fat, and so on. And then they'll begin to grow, and they'll begin to grow their breasts, and their whole body will start elongating. And getting taller and their period should come about two years after their breast buds first come so you can plan on if your daughter started to have that around 11 by about 13 to 13 and a half she's going to have her period and by two years after that she will actually stop growing so if you're wondering when your daughter will stop growing it's about two years after her menstruation begins for boys again it's different so for a boy um, he may st uh, start um, developing changes that you probably won't see because they're down in the genital area where the testicles get a little bit larger and the penis gets longer that's their first thing then they'll start to get a little bit of hair again in those areas and um, then they will start to get taller and more muscular and then their voice will start breaking and changing and the reason for that is because their their testosterone that's produced by their testicles uh, their t testosterone is much higher in their system and it makes the vocal cords thicker and longer that's a very interesting physical change that happens. And their whole larynx, that's the voice the voice box, will come forward. And that's why you get that Adam's apple in men. You don't get that in women. Mm -hmm. I, um, when I was going through puberty, my voice cracked like, you know, Yeah. I, I sounded like, like a cat. It, it, it's a hard thing. It's yeah. embarrassing for and, and boys. Of course, everybody else is having it happen at the same time usually. So you'll get through it. Now, two things I'd like to talk about now. Um, how important is it for young people when going through puberty um, probably boys within you know their own circles of boys and girls within their own circles of girls uh, to have peer discussions about you know what they're going through and you know like are you going through this too and you know how did mm -hmm. you make it through this time and also like um, talk about you know as a parent yourself mm -hmm. how do parents handle uh, children because for a lot of them even though they've been through that it's a rough transition it's a, it's a tough subject to approach it is tough um, for for parents who are shy you may leave some books lying around you can buy them online about uh, I think there's one that's called um, boys bodies changing or something you can google it and go to Amazon and pick up some books and you can just give them to your children I did do that and um, then they can read a little bit on their own they're usually very shy and they they don't want to talk about those those uh, sensitive topics um, sometimes having an aunt or an older brother or older sister talk about it with them can be pretty helpful too or an older uncle and um, uh, but it is important to not ignore it so that the kids don't get bad information or inaccurate information from their peers, which they'll be texting and, and calling and talking to sometimes about these things. So you'll get uh, misinformation. So it's better if, if you discuss it with them frankly, and you can always take them to their pediatrician too and, and have them help if you're too sensitive about it. Now one of your specialties, one of many I should say, is um, you deal with dermatology and the, the treatment of the skin. Uh, one thing, of course, that as is it, is it more common in boys or girls that when we go through puberty that you have, you know, just 
rampant breakouts of you know of zits. No, it happens to pores. both. It happens to both. Part of that is a little bit of um, heredita hereditary influence, quite a lot actually. Um, but um, what happens is that when we hit that puberty time, we have so many more hormones in our system, especially testosterone, that affects how much sebum, that means oil, we produce in our glands of the skin. So when you have very oily skin, which many teenagers do, you're going to have um, food for a bacteria that's called Propionis bacterium, and this is the one that causes acne. So again, the, the timeline is, okay, hormones making the skin make more oil, food for the bacteria, now you've got pimples. So um, that will happen to both boys and girls because girls will, will have that hormone in their system also. Okay, and before we go to a commercial break, a real quick question for young people watching right now, if you're going through puberty, the good doctor will answer this. Um, exactly when does this private ordeal end? Oh, you know, like if, that if is you're a 15, great question. 15, 16 and your voice is cracking and you got sweaty palms and mm -hmm. you know, you're looking at girls, hey, they look kind of cool. You know? <laughs> uh, For boys, um, you know, their puberty can be quite extended and long, 19 years old, 20 years old, even into their early 20s when they're still getting taller usually by then they're shaving and so on and and their voices stopped cracking but but their growth may be extended for girls you're pretty much done when you're 16 maybe 17. Yet another indication of why women are the, uh, the more <laughs> mature gender. I don't know but we do mature more quickly at that stage. Good scientific <laughs> answer and we have much more on the flip side of this break so please stay tuned we are talking about puberty